I'm surprised that's a trick. That's a bug. Oh, right here? What sound my trick be? Uh, say I got an idea. I lost, bro. You lost big time. I lost. We about to try to do this review. Everybody keep asking me for a truck review, but I don't know if this duck gonna come talk to me or be mean or what. <laughs> Look at that duck, man. <laughs> that duck crip walking like he got a broke leg or something. Look. He can't run fast. All right, I'm not gonna keep messing. He might be really hurt, so I'm gonna back up. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Pop Class. We are back with another video. In today's video, I'm finally back doing truck views. I posted on my Instagram two days ago and I said, if you want to be on the channel, damn me, we can set it up. These guys right here want to be on the channel. Y'all already know Bryson. You don't know Jordan. Jordan's a motor car racer. He's 16 years old. And I honestly must say, what? Oh my God. Okay, okay, Brevin. I get it. I get it. I get it. You know what? Just for them, keep calling you Bryson. But like I was saying, we are doing this truck review on this. HD 2500, you're gonna love this re this build, man. Like, I don't know, bro. KG1s, everything. Oh, yeah. You're a rich boy. You're a rich boy. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe, do y'all do best. I don't know any information on this truck. This is my first time seeing it. This is you guys' first time seeing it. This is his truck. All I can do is give him ideas what he could do. But he's gonna show you guys about this truck. Yeah, I'm kind of scared right now because I got these ducks around me. So if you hear any ducks in the background, this is why we buy a lake and trying to do a truck review, and there's ducks everywhere. They're everywhere right now. Well, before we get to the video, Got some over here going 100 miles per hour in a residential neighborhood. I'm guessing he's in Stunner Empire. I guess that's what they do. I'm, I'm thinking. Is that is that what Stunner Empire members do? Isn't it like 15 miles per hour in the neighborhood? I guess Stunner Empire members just go, you know, they don't care about the laws. Yeah, we but can't okay, read. We, yeah, we can't read. I, I think we, we read backwards. So if it's yeah. say 15 miles, I think we're saying 51 miles per hour. I got it, I got it. But like I was saying, this is Jordan, and he's going to give you a truck review of his truck. So let's go ahead and get started. It's a. 13, 2500 HD Duramax. It's got uh, 2614 on 40s, 12 inch bulletproof lift kit. Wait just a second, Stunning Power member is, is just ruining the video. You know, it's just acting loud. It's going 51 miles per hour inside the neighborhood. Oh Lord, let's see what he's going to do next. Hey, I wonder how is he in Stunning Empire being level, bro? Hey, did you steal that Stunning Empire sticker? This truck isn't squatting right now, I'm confused. Hey, get up San Rosa, you ain't got to squat I think this thing's supposed to be linked just a little bit. This this is too hey. hey, just take ass up the road. Go ahead, think know what you're doing. What is that? A hat rack? Nothing. That's real that's real cute. That's I real cute of you. But hey, that. guess what? You're running my video, so hey. take your ass on no, somewhere. No, no, no. I guess that's what we get, you know. Just wanna roll my video. How do y'all deal with this clown? How do y'all deal with this man? Oh, no, no, no. oh my God, I swear, Sun Empire members. He just messed up the whole video, so I guess it's gonna be take two of him trying to explain what's going on with his truck. I apologize for my fellow member now. What you were saying about your truck? Well, she's deleting the tune. She's all right. Uh, she's got a polished dry shaft. Yeah, that look good, I like that. She's got some loud train horns on her. What, what, what brand is that? Horn blasters. Horn blasters, how many horns you got? Six. Jeez. I like that. Appreciate it. And then she's got the star headliner. Got star headliner in oh, it? Yeah. We're gonna see that. Oh yeah. What size what lift kit you got? What size? Uh it's 13 right now. It's a 12 inch kit though. Bulletproof? Oh yeah. 
Who did the powder coating? Bulletproof. Bulletproof did it? Oh, so you already got it ordered when it was, uh, yeah. asked them to do white. We just told I got them, you. hey, powder coat it this color. Yeah. And they did it for us. Hooked this up on a good deal on the lift kit. And then I got the wheels from KG1 Forge. Boost of all sets. So this is about 14s? Oh, yeah. What size tire? 40s. Ooh. It's like, no, this truck big, bro. Do you get full U-turns or what? Oh, yeah. You got full U-turns? not scrub at all. So the main question everybody going to ask you is, how old are you? You look 13, so I'm, how old I'm are you? I'm 16. 16, oh, yeah. and you own, what do you think, how much you put into this truck probably, like the total amount? Too much. Too much money, right? Too much. So 16-year-old owning a truck that's like expensive as hell. I know when you go to, well, when you were going to school for COVID, I know people was like, what the hell? Yeah. You're driving this truck to school? Yeah, oh, yeah. But this truck's super clean, bro, so tell me some more about it. Uh... Twisted Trucks and Performance built it for us, and I got are they located here in Georgia? Yeah, they're okay. located here in Georgia, Powder Springs. They got they built it in two days. This whole put lift kit on and everything? Uh huh, lift kit and everything. Two days. They are really good. Go check them out. Wow, that's crazy. She rides really good. She rides like a damn Cadillac. Too. Oh, so she ride, it rides yeah, real smooth. Yeah, because the lift kit's turned down. Oh, but if you were to turn it up, it'll. Oh, it'll. ride like ass. And what do you get cranked up to? 15? Yeah, if you really crank it. Yeah. And you don't want to do that. Yeah. You don't want to do that. It'll be cranked up when it's on 30 16s. On oh, so you gonna do 30s? Yeah. Easier. So if you sell these wheels, you gonna 30s. Oh yeah. You gonna skip 20s? You are gonna straight to 30s? Yep. American forces. Oh my God. Jesus. That thing will look good. Oh yeah. You gonna I'm put some amp steps on here? Probably not. You just gonna keep hopping in there? Keep the fat bitches out. Yeah. I guess since you <laughs> since you're so young, you still got the good bones, you can just jump in and out of there, you know? Oh yeah. No problem. I guess just hop up on the tire like Omar be doing. <laughs> I got two sixes in here. We had two tens, but the box didn't, it didn't sit right. It didn't? Uh-uh, so we put two sixes in here, and it hits really good for some reason. Cause for the that, sixes? Yeah, because the, uh, the space in the box. And yeah. Stuff, it just makes it hit pretty good. What brand sixes are they? Uh, no idea. No idea. <laughs> Lord have mercy. God, Lee, I guess you just dump money into stuff that you don't even know what you're putting money into. Nope. All right, so super clean truck. And I guess you're gonna see this montage right now. It's a 550 kit from Amazon. It uh, took about Nine hours, maybe. How much were the lights? Uh, I think it was like one hundred thirty dollars. That's it. Yeah. Who did it? Who installed it? Me. You did? Yeah. Everything by yourself? Me and a couple friends. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. That's crazy. That actually looked good, bro. Appreciate it. That looked real good. And it only took you nine hours? Yeah. We had some dude come take the headliner out, make it black, and do the pillars black. And then y'all just put the stars in yourself? Yeah. Oh. And then we put it back in ourselves, and that was the pain in the butt. Putting it back in? Oh yeah, cause it's gotta go. Yeah, like fold it and like make it go right in there. You gotta get it just perfect. Yeah. It's a tight fit. It look good. Look real good. And you got all types of colors on there, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, it look nice, bro. I like that. I'll probably <laughs> do a bad kit before I took the block. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so look, do you like squatter trucks, bro? Yes and no. Depending. You don't like them when they like so so big. Yes, I don't like it when it's like that. Yeah, like the I like the, the one. Little lean, I like the little lean. You like the little lean? Oh yeah. Why don't you do a little lean? Too big, huh? We'll turn the keys up in the front. Make, we'll give it a little lean. A little lean. Like little, baby, baby, baby little lean. baby lean. Yeah, we'll right. get a baby lean. Uh, I got a 2005 Chevy Silverado Z71 fully loaded with sunroof. Um, I have all clear. If I need to get new ones, you know. Yeah, um, mine's kind of doing it right now, too, just a little bit. Um, I have a 709 chrome FTS lift. What is it set at right now? It's at nine. It's at a nine. But I have stock keys in it. It's turned already up, so I need to get uh, three-inch keys. Ooh, so you trying to be you trying to be uh, tooted to it? Yeah, I'm trying to be big. All right, all right. I hear you. Uh, I have brand new 26 by 16 uh -huh. RBPs on 35 Venoms, 1550s. I have brand new cotton needle uppers for it. They're in the truck. I just got to put them on. I probably do it this weekend. If I decide to keep the truck, I will powder coat my lift and get my truck painted and do a cam. What color uh, paint do you want to go with? Uh, same color, but I want flakes. Same color. It. Just going to put a, a little flakes in it? Yeah. You want to do some powder coat on the rear? Yeah, my rear end, my leaf springs, my tow hitch, 
everything. You want to do a lot of powder coating. You should do color matching on your uh, rear bumper too. Yeah, yeah. If you get it painted, that'll look good. And I want to get uh, color match toe lights. Yeah, that'll look good too. And color match these. No, I'm going to do a uh, bed cover. Bed cover? Yeah. yeah, that'll look real good. But you can still throw a little color match in it too though. Mm. Make it look all fancy. Have your little ducks in the back. Bring you and your family. That's my you know. Screen. Yeah. Bring them with you. Uh, I have star lights. But I need to redo it because my headliner's falling down. Okay, I got you. That thing look good. I'm talking about the box in the window. We don't talk about that. Oh Lord, why would you do <laughs> such we thing? We don't talk about that. Why would you do such thing? Come on now. <laughs> but he do got it in there. You know what I love about the truck, bro? What? Your sunroof, like you can see. It. I don't care how big or lifted the truck is. It's so Everything perfect goes in the. Out and up. Yes, bro. Like that's perfect, bro. I love how it is. That's real neat. Um, I have stock exhaust on it right now. But I want to do true duels with six inch tips. Something like I got. Yeah, I want to copy. But you want you want to put a, you want to keep the cats in there, right? Yeah, keep the cats. Keep the I want cats. To do long tubes with my cam, DTR stage four, built transmission. Um, and you got the stage four. You already got yeah, it, right? I got the house. I just gotta have time to put it in. I want to do the chrome cats. Yeah. And the, uh, they make a chrome. This whole plate right here. Yeah, I have it, but I need like. No so what are you gonna make this then? I'm just gonna be all chrome. Do look good. That do look and good. Yeah, it's like the chrome seal right here. Yeah, yeah, that that, that look real good. 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 That look real good. That'd be real neat. We just gonna keep the molding on here. You gonna rip this off? If I paint, I'm gonna rip it off. But everybody says if I take it off, it's gonna like. It's gonna leave a stain on there. Look yeah, like yeah. I'll probably keep that on for right now. Cause I took my fender flares off to color match them. Yeah. It didn't come out good. Yeah. So you just cap it off. Myself. It did not come out good. We're just gonna go to get this thing painted. Thing look good, bro. Let's see. You got leather interior too, so looks real good, man. It's a little dirty, right? But if somebody want to buy it, what you gonna sell it to them or what? Uh, I want after I'm done with everything. I want 20 grand with wheels and 14k on stocks. Okay. Yeah, that look good, bro. Or trade for a new body truck. New body it has to be loaded though. And I got. I think did I get the last one sold? Did I get the Yukon sold, or you already had that already set up? Well, technically you got it sold. You, technically. You it sold. Okay, so he did. I did get the Yukon sold. Yukon is gone, but man, um, color match this too, man. This look good. The chrome? Yeah. No, no, not the chrome. I'm talking about this. Like, yeah, yeah. Uh, I do want to do the 2015 bumper. The yeah. Bumper. Mm-hmm. Cause those bitches look good. Yeah, they look real good. Y'all comment down below. What color do he think? Do you think he should do his particle? I told him he should do like a slime green. Or I think that'll look good. To get rid of it. I think you should keep it just because how the market is right now. I mean, it's a good time to sell it, but it's also not a good time to buy a vehicle. So yeah, right. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's kind of your call. If you want to be left without a vehicle for a minute, unless you want to go spend crazy money, then you know what I'm saying. And then money's just a thing. Yeah. What? Money's just. All right, let me borrow hundred dollars then. I got you. All right, all right. I hear you. This is only five. So 5% 10. What you got on the back? That look a little bit darker in the back. It's 5 over stock. Okay, 5 over stock. I want to redo it and do, I want to do double 2.5. And then 15. Honestly, bro, I never even heard of that before. I had it on my white Yukon. I never heard of 2.5. I just thought it was just like 5, 15, well, 20, like the 30. Like the 2.5 like AutoZone, do it yourself. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I want to do 15 on the windshield, double 2.5 in the back. Um, I want to do a 1,000 piece Starlight kit. With my black suede. How many you got in there right now? I probably missed it. You said 450? Yeah. Okay, it's yeah. Enough. I want to put like 2200 in my truck. I got you. I got yeah, you. I want to do 2200 in my truck. I think that would literally be real nice, you know? Then we'd really be seeing the stars at nighttime. All right, so when are we going to drop the rear a little bit more? I'll tell you what. Get this video to 2500 likes. 2500 likes, and he's going to drop this rear. He will not put it on a tire, right? No, I'll put it on a tire. Put it on a tire? Oh my God. Likes. Look. Get this video to 2,500 likes and he's going to put this on the tire. And we got to jack the keys up too. Deal. Got to. All right, bet. That's yeah, a deal. Then the shake on that. All right, so you better rewatch this video when it go up because I, I, y'all got you on this bet now. I got you on this bet. So don't don't let me down. I got you on this bet. I'm going to let you down. 2,500 likes, y'all. Let's get this video to 2,500 likes. He's going to set it on the tire and he's going to jack the keys up and we're going to really be looking at the skylight. You already know. Full time. Full time. Big full time. Why you got a fifth wheel in the back of your truck? Bro, what you pulling? It used to be a farm truck before I got it. Oh, so they was pulling their horses and cows yeah, and chickens and stuff, pulling huh? Yeah, everything this motherfucker. Pulling everything.
You know, they got the horses in the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Literally.